The last time Anaya was here, she was only 17 years old, and she was being accused of a double murder. She swore she was innocent, but says she continuously received death threats, was forced to live in hiding, and would wake up terrified every morning. She came out to my show desperate to prove she had nothing to do with these senseless murders. Watch this. The night before um, my boyfriend and my friend were murdered, I had stayed over my girlfriend's house. Um, while I was in the shower, I got the call that he had gotten shot. My friend Dante's mom, Jamila, um, she believes that I had an involvement in the boy's murders, that I was either there at the time or I um, called people to go there and kill them. Because of these rumors, I'm scared. And because I'm afraid, I ended up moving back in with my mother. I wasn't even there at all. I wasn't like named a suspect. I didn't get questioned by the police or anything. But people think I did it because just me being his girlfriend and supposedly me being the last person to see him. Like, I'm a calm, sweet, genuine, some most of the time quiet person. I didn't kill my boyfriend. I didn't kill my friend Dante. This lie detector test that I um, am taking will show that I would never harm anyone. Jamila, you're a liar, and you know you're a liar. First, you just said y'all dropped my daughter off at her best friend's house. You's a liar. Yes, but you said, when know, when you have I ever switched my story? I never switched my story up. And you know it. I never even talked to you. We never had nothing to say. You know my daughter didn't have. Friends, if you believe that, why, does, why did you say something? Were you questioned by the police? They brought us in for information, to get information to see, you know, if we knew somebody, or knew somebody right, that... Not that you were questioned as a suspect. suspect. No, not that we was questioned as a suspect. But Anaya no. said the police never spoke to them. But you have her mom right here saying that the police did speak to them. They spoke but to Anaya everybody. But she never spoke to the police. They spoke to everybody. They were trying to get information. Do you think that there's any way possible that your daughter would be connected to this crime? No, absolutely not. Since this happened, uh, She's gotten threats. She's left school. She got to do school virtually. She can't. I fear for her safety. She can't walk outside. Because people are mad and they believe that yep. she's involved, so they're threatening and her. And not only that, because she was his girlfriend, too. So we don't know, you know, if they could try to hurt her, her too. Y'all was arguing that day. He was not arguing. He was not arguing that day. We was arguing, but he was, we was arguing because Were you talking he was about mad that I went with you guys. Day? What happened? Were you talking about breaking up that day? No, we was not talking about Were breaking you? up. Yes, you did. About, Stop we was not talking about breaking up. He, he was saying... He said you need to take your stuff and move back in with no, your No, he mother. did not. He did not say that. Did, were oh, you were you girl. cheating on him at I all? No. That, that would cause... You ain't doing Tell You ain't doing nothing. nothing. You ain't Tell touching my daughter. Stuff. You're not touching my daughter. Anaya, you came here, took a lie detector test, and we asked you, did you give those sneakers in question away? You answered no. Did you participate in any way in that double murder? You answered no. Did you arrange for those shootings to take place? You answered no. Were you present when the double murders took place? You answered no. The results came back the same to each one of those questions, and it came back that Anaya told the truth. Oh, I told you, Mila. I told you. I love Dante. I love she my boyfriend. Family. I would never this do that. This is what bothers me. She I loved that family. I told you, Mila. I told it's you. It's still, though. It's still, though. It's still. I told it's still you. Back still wait, wait. No, I'm glad Mila. He wasn't involved. But no, Mila, I will tell you right now. Oh, I'll tell you. Still a liar. No, listen, listen. I'll tell you from. I'll tell you from she the morning. Passed, she just. No, listen, listen. I'll tell. Listen. Tell your mom cut down. Mom, fuck. I had nothing to do with this at all whatsoever. I was just as appalled and everything as you are, as you were. Does this help you at all? Um, a little bit, yeah. I can focus my energy somewhere else now. Yeah. Um. Obviously, she wasn't involved. I don't think she had anything to do with it. But I hope that. 
whoever did this, um, they brought to justice and they pay for what they did to your son. They will. These boys are going to get justice. Some way, somehow, they're going to get justice. It's been a year since Anaya was here, and we wanted to touch base with her to find out what's happened since the show. Here's what she had to say. After coming on the show, Steve, you really helped because... I can basically be me again. I can be a teenager. I can go outside without worrying about anything. When I walked off stage, Jamila had called me and she apologized and we, we, you know, we had a good conversation after. Well, now everything's actually good. I still keep in contact with the family here and there. For the boys' um, anniversaries, we actually all come together and just celebrate the boys. So yeah, we, we're all fine now. I'm actually back in school. I'm now a senior. Um, I'm looking forward to graduation. And after graduation, I'm going to cosmetology school. And so Steve, I just want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to clear my name and be able to just be me again, be a regular teenager. And you just helped me in the most tremendous way possible. Steve, thank you so much. You cleared my name, you helped me get my life back, and everything's back to normal. So I just want to say thank you.